Okay, we're back with the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All Marathon! Hooray, and that's he's still playing. What game are we going to have? Will know. Ennis make the victory goal for this trial? June well, 21st, 9.48 a.m. Just record the Federal Lobby number 3. What? Apparently, Maya is surprised because Von Karma is in the game. <laughs> oh no, what we ever shall we do? Von Karma is a good goalkeeper and a good <laughs> player and a good attacker. He's good at everything, apparently. Apparently, this is his successor. Wait, why are we doing freaking the football commentary? God damn it. That's the last time I watch Maiden. Jesus. Anyway. Okay, anyways. Prosecution for Karma, you mean? No, I heard it is successor this time. Successor? Three dots! Marshal von Karma, he was really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks. All so he could win. All so he could actually put the volume down. <laughs> okay. That's all better. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. And he was just killing. <laughs> Who knows? What sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those guilty verdicts. And now he's successor. I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be. Hmm. I don't know. It's no good. Mystic Maya! Burly! You showed up! Thanks for coming all this way! And how did she come all this way? And the answer is, we're gonna see it. I was really worried about you. Hey! Where's your mother? Didn't you co uh, two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. Oh yes, he, she's not worried about her, her uh, daughter. No, it's not niece. Oh, niece, yeah. That's right. Anyways, she said that they would have training for two days straight with no breaks. Whoa. Uh, then, then you came all this way by yourself? Yep, I snuck out of the manor and followed the map. And tell map. me you walked all the way here. Uh, uh, you need an answer, Phoenix. Of course not. I ran. Wow. Wow. That's... I can't... Oh, my. It takes two hours by train. Oh, man. But we, what about the train? Huh? What's a train? I give up. It's time, isn't it? Uh, I'm really scared. What if Bone Karma tries to do something to me? Whoa, that sounds nasty. At least I know Mr. Edward would be nicer to me than Von Karma. I guess so. Edward? Who is that? Uh, he's Nick's rival. Well, he's also a friend. Objection. Aha! Corner! Corner! 2001! Yes! I still remember him as if he had just seen in him only yesterday. Objection. Fuck this shit! You're wrong, Edward! Somehow! <laughs> Every try was scorching fierce battles until the very end. Objection! Objection! Okay, I believe there weren't so many objections followed by that. <laughs> it was always back to and forth with but uh, back and forth with them. But then your rivals were to life. Maya! Please don't mention that name ever again. Yeah, what you don't play ping ball with Mr. Edward anymore? <laughs> <laughs> but why Nick? I'm I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He... he's... he's gone. He's not coming back. He's dead?! Ah! What happened when I was out? Jesus. What?! Wait, 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 wait. wait a second! What's that supposed to mean? What will commence shortly. Please proceed to the courtroom. Three dots. Let's go. Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. Nick. We'll talk about that way later. Not now. Not now. June 21st, 10 a.m. The street court. Courtroom number two. Ah! What the hell? Ah! What is it? Who did the reception for the trial by your face? Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? Three dots. I knew it! The prosecution is three dots! <laughs> what is with this girl? Yes, it's a girl. <laughs> Mr. Ray, are you finally prepared? Huh? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Ooh, I wonder why. Mr. Phoenix Wright. God, it's the end of the world! Oh! Oh my God! He said your full name. Ah, the end of the world. Well, actually, you just have two names. That's a big name. You must be quite sharp because I'm a woman, correct? Uh, that's because you're young. Yeah. Hold on. This kid is the famed prosecutor from Karma. 
I am Francisca von Karma, the prodigy. Okay, Francisca von Karma is Meikaruma in Japanese. And uh, in the English name is just because Francisca is actually a German name. As for the, Eng uh, the, uh, the Japanese name, it's actually Kaji is actually Dark. Oh and my. that's all I have to say. Oh my god, Dark? Oh no. Well, there's also a, b a bit of confusing because apparently, uh, according to this, May also means niece. So there was a confusion if he was the daughter of Von Karma or the niece. Alright. I see. I gave up promising career of Germany and came to this to country to soul for sole reason. Revenge. Oh my god. She is Indiana Jones! No! Uh, just because she has a whip that doesn't make her Indiana Jones. Where's the Where's the hat? <laughs> and, the the, and the gun, and the gun, and the Where's the freaking giant boulder? And the gun. And the giant boulder. <laughs> Mostly the giant boulder. Yeah, actually. that too. But wait, and she had to be a Nazi. Yeah. I got that. Revenge? Is this about a father, my from karma? Uh, I'm not even gonna answer that. Um, if you're still thinking of a person of nature, I'm sure you can- Oh! I'm talking. Oh god. You don't want to mess with Von Karma. If you talk girls are scary, well, you just met the worst one. <laughs> if you interrupt me again, my whip will be speaking for me. Don't you mean Indiana Jones will do the speaking? <laughs> you speak with your mouth like a normal person? I beg of you. Ah, oh, yeah! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The first thing you about, Karma, your only statement is... Those of On Karma Blood have only one thing, and that is perfection. Well, well, we're not gonna say that a lot. <laughs> Another word we're gonna say a lot is, well, you're gonna see it. The defendant, my affair, will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Very well. What is the defense's position? Excuse me. <clears throat> Your Honor. Is it the best wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Why not? Foolish fool, oh yeah, we're not gonna hear this a lot at all. <laughs> foolish fool of the foolish dreams of the foolish dreams. <laughs> Wait, what? It's so hard to say it, okay. man. It's foolish fools. Okay, foolish fools of the foolish dreams of the foolish dreams. I practice this! <laughs> Damn it, I'll give you a defense minute before I change my plea. It's plea. That's right, I'll have you running and justify self defense and plea in no time. Justify self defense? usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills the defense of himself. Then we usually make a solid case that it was self-defense, but... The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, your honor. Just to plead justify self-defense to say you did kill someone. Huh. I'm such a remote way person, or whatever I just said, I don't know, I just said randomly. Anyways, oh foolish. If that's how you want to play, Mr. Phoenix, right? Then I shall now call you the the first witness. She's just as scary as a father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Yeah, and definitely she's not getting shot by in the heart. Oh god, it's got you! Why the hell you up to be scared of that? You already know that Detective in read of this case was Detective Gumshoe in the first place. Witness, your name and occupation. Yes, sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local prison. Ah! Get to the point already. Explain the court the details of this murder. Yes, sir. Um, if anyone will please look at this map. No, I'm gonna look the, up to the wall. The family chamber has no windows, and the door ah, was locked shut. <laughs> at the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling uh, spirit, sir. Are you sure they only wanted to have the other thing? <laughs> channeling a spirit? Look at the disbelief on the judge's faces. <coughs> anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Oh, and that's when they found that the victim was already dead, correct? Yep. That's right. Hmm. You believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever presented over? Well, we have the floor plans. Now. So, who was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. Ugh. She's just a bitch. Jeez. Oh, I probably should start my clock to actually put 10 minutes. 
cause of that. But the right cause of that was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to, fi to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. Alright. So the victim was dead before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. Okay, Dr. Gray's autopsy report. The court assessed it into evidence. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. I like how he just says uh, the court assessed it into evidence as it already was assessed as evidence. Alright. So what we have to do here is actually press everything in this freaking <laughs> statement. Mm -hmm. The murder weapon, the deadly gunship. Whose pistol was it? It was the victim's. The victim? Now why would he have... Oh jeez. Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? The fingerprints? Along with the victims, uh, the defendant, by a pace, were also on the grip, sir. Oh, great. We told we didn't have the case with the, uh, this already. <laughs> not at all. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. Right into her hands there. True. More pressing. Hold it. More jiggling that way out. Point blank, huh? So how about how far away was it? It was anywhere between 10, 12 to 20 inches away. That's like five, six centimeters or something. Yes. That's a lot. I, 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 how, Jesus, wrong voice. God damn it! How do you know he was shot at point blank? This, 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 Mr. Phoenix, right? Actually, that's my favorite pose of Francis Cabon. Yeah. I got tired of your foolish, foolishy foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. Uh, excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Okay, this is important. You better pay attention. Yeah. Gunpowder burn? When something is shot from a point blank burn area, it's left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes bullet fire, and that gets real hot now. And there were definitely some gunpowder left on the victim's forehead. Wow, never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. Live and learn! This is not Sonic Adventure 2, thank you. <laughs> okay. I knew you were gonna do that, but somehow. Somehow. Yeah. Anyway, stab? What was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. Well, that, well that's kind of a... Deja vu, yet again. AC, and whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints are all over it. Are you sure it's, uh, it's just not the uh, Mystic Ray just went to the kitchen and just fired at <laughs> himself, essentially? <laughs> all over it, huh? Uh, this does not look good. Haha. <laughs> what will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna keep pressing. Press it until it squeaks! The squeaks, man! <laughs> How severe was the wound? <laughs> If it had been a half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. After a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. It's just what makes Maya look like she has stabbed him with the intent to kill. Hmm. And this is the last one? Alright. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as sure can be. One luck in the wounds, and you come to the same conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to foolish opinions of other foolish fools. The pistol shot to the forehead at the point black is certainly enough to kill instantly. Oh, yeah, that's true. Does it matter th then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix, right? Grr, what a pain in the ass. That's <laughs> The pain in the three dots! What yeah. That's enough! We have clearly established that the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very hey, well, the court has to them into evidence, so we have the knife and the pistol. Exactly in outside order. Yep. <laughs> the, uh, <clears throat> the date and time of death was June 19 of 3.50 p.m. Eyewitness claim to have heard two gunshots at this time. And the two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them. Hmm, this seems like an open and shut case. I uh, might as well check the new evidence while we're here. Alright. Anyways, let's see. The uh, yeah, mortal weapon was gays to fire two times, bears mice 
and Gray's fingerprints, Not obviously. Not a weapon, a small fruit knife belongs to the face. Bears my yeah. fingerprints. Okay, we'll check the autopsy report. We didn't, haven't checked that yet. Okay, Stabbing chest, then shot at point blank. Gunpowder residue around bullet hole. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. The summary just now was an oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor. Feel free to slam that little gravery of yours. After all, there is no room left for doubt here. That is quite true. Mr. Wright? Yes. Even in the face of all this, still wish to plead not guilty. Not guilty, in I say. In this court, uh, not just to plead, you stand to lose. See, just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright, I would change your plea in less than 10 minutes. I don't know. I haven't been watching my clock. <laughs> so. What would you do, Mr. Wright? You change to justify self defense? If now would be your time to do so. This is your burden. This is your final chance. I was gonna say finish. Uh huh. You say I better take this all the way through. Hmm. Let's think. If we do self defense, that means she kill her anyway. So it's played not guilty. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Why Please, would? We're not gonna say just because she wants us to do. If we plead justify self defense. We basically be confess confessing to a murder. Well, that's like you said before. Mm -hmm. After the trial, Maya's life will be destroyed and she'd be labeled a murderer. True. I can't let that happen. Your Honor, have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? The defense will not change its plea. We'll accept nothing short of complete acquittal. Yeah! Whip to the face! <laughs> you! You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Well, haven't we heard this uh, call to anywhere else? Yep, we did. Detective! Yes, sir! Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Um, yes, sir. No, see here! The proceedings are run by- oh, yeah. At this point, you should have warned. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. Go ahead, Detective. Give your testimony. Yeah, give it. <laughs> I think the court would like to hear about the other piece of incriminating evidence. Uh, well, I don't want to hear it. No, 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 I don't want to hear it. No, I want to hear it. Evidence. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, pal, but there's an even more incriminating piece of evidence. Now, this is the costume that the defendant was wearing at the time of the crime. And as you can see, it's covered in blood. It's also covered in purple. <clears throat> the defendant attack and kill the person who, without doubt, was not finding back. Oh, God. Hmm. That sounds ridiculous to me. So, this is the costume. There certainly is evidence of back spray of blood on this. This means the rat really links my affair to the crime, sir. Mm hmm, I see. The court says it to, this is to do into evidence. Oh, jeez, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm done. Alright, Mr. Wright. I have fingerprints on both murder weapons and blood splatters on her clothes. Could this situation get. She could have been naked! <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, what's wrong? You seem to have. Be what uh, it was. I think this is the last piece of testimony the prosecution should have to offer. Feel free to suck off with your tall tail between your legs, Mr. Phoenix, right? Please stop calling me by my full name. It's disturbing. I'm gonna call you for that for that for now on, and that's your full name. Jesus, shut up. And that's Oliveira. <laughs> gonna say that all the time uh, now. Okay. Let me so what do we have to do, Ns? Think a little. We I, actually think, I think pressing uh, is gonna do nothing. Uh, yeah, we need to press something. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, but we have to press that. That last one. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was this one or the last one. It was one of them. Explode well, on. you're half right on that point, but you, for now, let's just press this yeah. part. This blood on the costume. Yeah, the, we don't know if this blood is hers. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking now. Lab results show that it's, uh, it's, it's not supposed to be hers. It's supposed to be Doctor Gray, NS. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You're so smart. <laughs> yeah, I know something. Like Don't that. listen to NS. <laughs> so there is blood from the victim. The bed is clues. Definitely not good. <laughs> Were there any other clues you could glean from this piece of evidence? Ah, uh, well. Objection! Oh come on. If you must change the topic, then a good detective here must testify again. Too bad, too bad. Not enough time. Time to move on. Ah, yes. Miss Bogart is perfectly correct. Now, even a chance on a side, bite off more than I can shoot. What should I do? 
Press murder, why not? Yeah, let's press murder. No, after I can't, we're gonna lose anything from that. Oh, wait, we do, in Trials of Tribulation, so... Why is Miss Von Karma suddenly putting up resistance? There must be a reason as to why she suddenly threw out an objection like that. Hmm, no, don't you seem something odd on that thing? Yep, I do. There must be a clue somewhere on this concert. You just have to look harder. Mr. Ray, Miss Von Karma's logic is perfect. There is no way for you to poke a hole in it. Ah, it looks like my time is up. So, about the costume... There is one little thing. Yeah, it's one little tank. And they give you a clue what it is, actually. Yeah, I think I know what it is. Your Honor, actually, there is something very wrong with this piece of evidence. What? What are you talking about, pal? Three dots. <laughs> Where is this room you are talking about? I've come this far. There's no turning back now. The problem I have with this piece of evidence is here. And that's the hole over there. Yeah, like the judge just said. <laughs> Where's the hole in this, in this Jeez, evidence? I wonder why there's a hole here. Please, I wonder. I asked the court to please take a look at the sleeve of this costume. The sleeve? There is a tiny hole here. A, a, a hole? That wasn't in the report. Well, it's gonna be now. Oh, done. What's this around the hole? This baby gum powder. Jeez, I wonder why. Gum powder? No one even ever told me. Who the spills of gold powder? Looks like I found the hole I was looking for. Your Honor, the only logical conclusion you can make is that it must be a bullet hole. <gasps> oh my god, man, that Oh my god, he's so smart! You lose the internet! <laughs> okay, enough of that. Moving on. Order, order, order. This is a very grave matter. Best we correct the court record first before anything else. So well, it's updated. The, yeah. We updated the, the bullet hole part. I think so that we can actually contradict something in the statement. Sorry about that. I guess we messed up, sir. Three dots each. Is she actually smiling? Ah, uh, you're for our trap and ass. What else is she hiding? Her boobs. <laughs> Put yourself together, detective. At that tiny world doesn't change a thing. The string of evidence still holds. Continue with your testimony. That says now was a fluke, nothing more. Objection! Excuse me. It's, no, it's object. No. How can I? How can you say something like that? This is a huge oversight. Well, I agree. This is a mistake on the part of the police. What prosecutor Volker said is true. The evidence still stands. If you do not find a more definite problem with the evidence, then no way. Then they go. You please continue with your testimony. Yes, sir. Okay. Now we can counter that, I guess. Exactly. And do, 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 do. here says he that uh, he didn't attack, but how the hell did that bullet hole just appear there if it wasn't for that? If he didn't fight back? So I guess we have to object with... The Amalia's costume. Yeah. Because it's updated now. If you don't do that, if you don't update this first, you'll get hurt. Hurt with... Yeah, yeah well, green thing of justice, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. This is you. Yes? <laughs> Having you called me by my full name is a kind of a weird feeling. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. You said that my client killed a person without that was not fighting back. Yeah, I did. Then what, may I ask, is this bullet hole you police overlook supposed to mean? Um, uh, what does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that the victim had fired off a shot. Is this what it means to not fight back? Ah! You're right! It was it that way! If it didn't try to shoot the defendant, then it changed everything. Alright, the wind seems to be shifting. Ah. And with that, are you finished yet? Blah. Are you finished yet, Mr. Phoenix? See, right? I already said that. <laughs> you know. Miss... Miss... Uh, <laughs> Miss McCormick? It seems that Maya was shot by the victims. However, that is only a crown enough to support a justified self-defense plea. That is correct. But I'm sure you remember, Your Honor, that defense query said they rejected justified self-defense and plead not guilty. Oh. Ah! Now that you... Damn it, backfire. Wait, that's right! Which means the defense has yet to prove anything at all. No! Well, uh, yes, that's true. Hmm. Furthermore, just the fact that there is a bullet hole in the costume is not enough substance even to plead justify self-defense. Huh? How so? Ah! 
Don't you just stand there. Hurry up and tell the court what transpired that day. With new testimony. Information that I had it, uh, of course. Of course! Uh, you mean by myself? Want me to put together the scenario all by myself? Ah! Mm hmm. Yes, sir! Right away, sir! Okay, here we go. You're in the chat wing and the Venusaur chance to stab the victim in the chat. Of course, the victim used the last restraint to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant then picked up all the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Wait a second, Wait a minute. was too close. Yeah, he said that, didn't he? Hmm, the scenario you have put together does make sense. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Ray, still listening, it just makes sense. However, I won't give up that easily. Please wait for glaring at me like that. Wait, was I glaring? No, did you cross the issue, please? Oh, that's a that's a new one. The judge being glared. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> okay, we met with something that was too close. Indeed. Well, let's get there. Here. It's the next one. But it took a shot because they were too close. He missed. Okay, now if you remember what I said, to remember that hitch is part of the. Um, Gun burn. Yeah, the gun burn. And if we're gonna actually check the costume. Check the costume. As you see, there is no burn on the on the costume where the hole is. So? Object. Objection. Yep. Hee <laughs> hee. We did it. Not really. Missing the tiny hole on this costume will be the prosecutor's undoing. Hey, what do you mean? Oh my god. This little hole has actually created a huge hole in your testimony. Ha! Huh. What a what a twist there. <laughs> oh god, we're not gonna do many hole ponds, why not? Explain yourself, Mr. Wright! You said the two of them were fighting, but the victim fired his gun at point blank. If that were true, then where is the gunpowder burn on this costume? Gunpowder burn? This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point like a bird area is left around the bullet hole. Oh! But there is not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. He's right. There is no burn there. That is good. a very good point. Uh, what is exactly does this mean? It means absolutely nothing. It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. Objection! Oh god damn it. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you can just punch a hole in my logic with, with that? With that, we still watch you, what I am. Thinking. Which you watch you. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. Thinking like that, anyone can explain anything a away. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of their fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then that you were superior, and then he fired. How was that? Well, excuse me. But you have to excuse me, it's time you object. And if that was even possible, according to testimony, the wound from the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defender very far after that. Three dots, exclamation. Well, well, then. That's right, the defendant must have pushed the victim away. After st uh, stabbing him, she must have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then, while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took the sh his shot. There, that should satisfy even you. That is making awful lot of sense. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Must be careful. I can't afford to make a mistake here. Try to think. Something doesn't make sense yeah, here. There is a fatal flaw in her argument, uh, your honor! Fatal! Look! <laughs> Yahoo! Very interesting. Would you have to see where is that flaw? Show me something that contradicts my explanation. There has been snagging her explanation somewhere. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow. And when she was about to strike, the doctor took his shot. There must be a piece of evidence that contradicts this one of thinking. Okay. Uh, what do you think it is, actually, Ines? 